Hey everybody, Chad here. In this video, we're gonna talk about something crazy important, something I'm working on even myself right now. This is a great weakness of mine, when, especially when we talk about areas of, of success, areas of abundance, abundance in general, no matter if you're talking about law of attraction, law of assumption. Uh, so you wanna go and stick around for at least a couple minutes to figure out what this video is about. <laughs> Playing a trick on you there for a second. But I, th I think this is the main thing, one of the main things I struggle with, and this is what it is, you, you've always hear the kind of the quote, enjoy enjoy the journey, not the destination. Okay, enjoy the journey, not the destination. And I'm outside, by the way, a lot of stuff by the road. I'm down here by the pool, but it's crazy busy, so I had to find this little nook spot to kind of sit here and talk. But um, my question to you is, are you enjoying the journey? Okay, are you enjoying the process? Or are you kind of like me where you're so focused on the destination, that's all you're thinking about? Okay, and it's fine to think about the destination, but basically what happens, we lose track of the journey. We're not enjoying the process. And lots of times we think about the destination so much. I don't know if you're like me, but you think about the destination so much that it can give you anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You can start worrying. You can start doubting the process. And almost like Napoleon Hill says, when worry and doubt creep in, and they creep in really, really slow, that causes fear. And fear is crippling. And how, how can fear be crippling? Because fear makes you want to throw in a towel. Fear makes you want to quit. Okay? Fear makes you want to give up on your dreams. Fear makes you wanna wanna stop the whole process of this process. Is, your dream life is just not possible. That's what fear does. And fear, fear, the beginning of fear is worry and doubt. Okay, that's one thing we gotta we got to we gotta understand. Now the second thing we gotta understand is when we talk about laws of attraction, laws of assumption, laws of abundance, laws of the universe, is really these laws want you to enjoy the process, okay? You ever heard like when you're dealing with law of attraction and you have trouble trying to attract things, you have trouble trying to more abundance to come to you. Most of the reason why you're having trouble with it is because you're trying to control the how too much. You're trying to figure it out on your own rather than just give it to the universe, let go and give it to the universe. Okay, one of the reasons we have trouble letting go is because we're not enjoying the journey. We're not having fun. Okay, think back as a kid. Think back even as a, get this notification off of there. Think back as a kid, as a young teenager, even if you went to college, think back to your college days. And think back, even your high school, maybe you had a blast in high school. But think back, like when you're having a blast, you're having so much fun, but isn't it weird you're having all this fun? But at the same time, you're attracting everything you want. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Okay, th th think back to that. When I think back, I'm 47, 48 right now. So I'm a little bit older, have some life experience. Doesn't mean I know everything, okay. But when I think back, when I think back when I was a kid, when I think back when I was a teenager, young teenager, mid-teens, older teens, when I went to college in my early 20s, you know, even in college, you're having fun all the time. You're studying, but you're, going, you're having fun. Lots of times in college, our weekends would start on Thursday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our weekends would start on Thursday. That's when our weekend started. You know, you go out Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, you recover on Sunday, go back to your classes and get ready for the week on Monday. Okay, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the daytime on Thursday would be would be study time, work time going to our classes, then it start, Thursday night started started the weekend, most of the time, unless you had a lot of classes on Friday, but your weekend started on Thursday. But isn't it weird when you kind of think back, and maybe you have experiences like me, that you start thinking back and you think, oh, that is kind of funny, you know, I'm having a blast, I'm having fun, I'm hanging out with the friends all the time, I'm doing what I want to do, you know, maybe you're going out drinking and partying, hey, that's fine, but isn't it weird how you attract what you want? in that state, then all of a sudden, you kind of become like me as you become older, more responsibility, of course, you know, maybe you 
maybe you have a house or mortgage, cars, you know, insurance, mortgage insurance, car insurance, uh, medical insurance. You have all these responsibilities. Maybe you have kids and that brings in a whole nother responsibility and expenses and you start getting stressed out. You start, stop enjoying the journey. And I, even with myself, I can't really pinpoint when I stopped enjoying the journey. And maybe when I really got into more business, personal development, business success, because I think the negative notion of business and a lot of millionaires, especially online, YouTube, Instagram, a lot of millionaires will say this. And I don't know if they say it just to get a lot of followers or whatnot, but it's really wrong in kind of my book and my understanding. And th this is what they say. And this is what I hear them constantly say. And I won't uh, name names. That's not the point. Um, but they're saying like, oh, you got to sacrifice. You got to self-sacrifice. You know, you, you got to stop going out on every single weekend and just work, work, work 24-7. You know, you got to self-sacrifice if you want to live your dream life. You got to self-sacrifice if you want to be a multimillionaire. Okay. That philosophy, when you look at abundance, look at laws of the universe, violates the laws of the universe. It literally violates it. That's why you're not getting what you want. Okay. Now, I can get what they're saying because sometimes people go overboard. Sometimes, you know, they're making 50000 a year, but they're living like they they have an income of a millionaire. You know, they're just blowing all their money. They're not investing and stuff like that, which I can get a little bit what they're saying. But when you look at just the, the laws of the universe, you look at laws of abundance, you look at laws of, a, you know, the uh, laws of assumption. Okay. They're violating it because it's not about self-sacrificing. It's, it's about enjoying the journey. That's how law of attraction comes to us. That's how abundance comes to us is when, when we are enjoying the process. The more we're enjoying the process, more things will come to you. Because what happens is when we enjoy the process, when we're doing things we want to do, maybe you're, going, maybe you're going to the pool, maybe you're going to the beach, maybe you're swimming, maybe you're on the jet skis, whatever, it puts you in a state of awe. You're, you're such in a relaxed state. You're having so much fun. That's what, that's what brings in more abundance to you. It's not, it's, we were thinking reverse. It's not always about thinking, thinking, thinking what Chad's intention is. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking what Chad wants. And that causes stress and anxiety because when I'm thinking about it 24 seven, I'm not, I'm not enjoying the journey. Okay. I'm so focused on a destination. It, it's giving me flipping anxiety. <laughs> like I'm going to have a heart attack and it, nothing comes to me because I'm trying to force it to happen. Okay. One of the ways to, to make laws of attraction work for us, make abundance come to us is enjoy the journey. Do, 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 do things you like. Uh, if you're like me, maybe you gave up on your hobbies. Start, start bringing your hobbies back. Okay, start, start doing things you want to do because it's amazing. Once you do things you really love, no matter, maybe it has nothing to do with your intention, has nothing to do with your goal, but lots of times we get our goal faster when we start doing things we love. And one of, one of the things that I said it in the beginning of the video, I'm like blah, 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 mumbling over my words, but one of the things when I came to Thailand, I lived in Thailand before. Um, I lived in Thailand back in 2021 for one year. Then I went back to the States and visited the family. Now I'm back here again in Wahin, a different area, but I'm here for six months. And I'm going to go back home to my nieces getting married. And one of the main goals I had when I came to Thailand this time is to enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, uh, start doing things I like and want to do, start bringing back my hobbies. Uh, and, and this condo, uh, because I live in a condo. This has probably one of the best pools in Wahin. Um, one of the best pools anyway, not the best, but one of the best pools. A lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go down to the pool. They have a water slide down here. If you're like a kid, I'm going down the water slide. Uh, they go, they're splashing in the pool. Um, you know, we have the, the beach is just five minutes this way. I will go to the beach, get in the water. Sometimes it's been high tide, but, uh, getting, getting back into a routine of almost like a kid, like doing things I enjoy. Because what I notice is once you're in that statement of joy, you totally forget about controlling the how. You totally forget about your intention, your wants, and your desires. You're just enjoying life. Now, once you start enjoying life more and more and more, 
things magically start coming to you. Okay. Because lots of times when we think, when we overthink and we think about intentions, we think about what we want too, too much. We start trying to control the how too much. We start trying to force it. Remember, force negates. When you start trying to force something, no matter you're physically forcing it, no matter you're trying to force it with your mind, no matter you're trying to coerce people to do what you want, the more you do that, the more you try to manipulate or the more you try to manipulate the words of, well, Chad, I don't do that, but secretly you do, it, it force negates no matter any form of force, mental force, physical force, uh, manipulation. The, the universe knows when you're trying to manipulate, okay? You can fool other people, and I say this all the time. You can fool other people. I can fool other people very easily, but you cannot fool the universe. You cannot fool God. So the universe knows that you're trying to manipulate, you're trying to force. So once it knows you're trying to force it, it keeps it from you. Force negates things. You're repelling things from you. It's like I have a shield here and I'm just repelling everything. I'm repelling all the good trying to come to me. <laughs> that's, you know, we don't want to do that, but that's what ends up happening. And one of the things is how we fix it is start trying to enjoy the journey. Okay, start enjoying the process. Like if I wake up and I'm in the mood to work, I work. If I wake up, I'm not. And I feel like, oh, let, let's drive around the city on the motorbike. Let's go out to eat. Let's go to the beach and hang out. Let's just come down and hang by the pool for a few hours. You know, I started doing more of that in Wahin to kind of bring back, enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. If I wake up and I'm in a mood to do videos, that's how I work. I, I, I'm in the mood to do it and I do it. Um, but of course my videos are not scripted. You can tell my videos are not scripted and I'm, I'm, I'm not reading off a teleprompter and I'm not sitting there and just talking monotone or you can tell I'm reading off a, a teleprompter. But when I do videos, I have to be in a mood to talk. <laughs> you know I mean? I have to be in a mood to talk about it, to talk about the topic. Uh, but I'm doing it all by enjoying the process more. And, and, and if things are slowly, it doesn't change overnight. Okay. But I do find things are slowly kind of gravitating towards me because I'm starting to have more fun. Okay, I can live in my head a lot. Um, lots of times I can think and overthink and live in my head. And the only way I get out of my head is is doing things I like, going out doing things in nature, going, you know, going down playing by the pool. Maybe you're going out. I've been really into pool lately, playing pool. Um, that they have like a, in Wahin, a lot of bars in Wahin have a lot of pool tables. And the pool tables are free. You can go in and play for free. I mean, of course, you have to buy a drink, of course. But anyway, you can play pool for free. So, I mean, I go in. I've been playing pool. I uh, remember I loved pool way back in my college days. Like my my best friend back in college, him and I, his name is Brian, would go play for one semester. For one year, I think we played pool almost every single day. We went and played pool. Um, so, you know, I started getting into that. Well, I like pool. Um, when I go to the beach, I've always wanted to, and I haven't done it yet, but I've always wanted to take surfing lessons. And the water is crazy warm here. Now, you have no excuse not to go to the beach and get in the water, but it's crazy warm. It's not cold. The air is not cold. You're not freezing like you are in California. If you've ever been to the Pacific Ocean, um, you know the water's cold. Uh, so I want to take surfing lessons. So once the, once the high tide goes down, it's not high tide every other day or every two days. I want to start taking some surfing lessons just to do things I've always wanted to do. But, you know, in my mind, I, I self-sacrifice. I don't do it. Um, but, um, but if you're like me, you know, this is maybe an area that you really have to improve. And, you know, start bringing back your hobbies. Uh, start, I mean, sometimes I find, sometimes I find this in interviews. Like when I would interview, I remember back in a day I would interview and, and it would be an interview question. There would be like, well, Chad, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? And sometimes they would ask that question. Now, if I'm so much in my head, I'm so much of a workaholic, I can't even answer it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't. Like, it's, like a, it's like a question that stumps me. <laughs> and I find myself at first, my, my expression on my face, I'm, I'm sure they could tell. I'm trying to figure out well, what in the world do I like to do? You know what I mean? And, or I come off like a boring person because then, because at first I just want to say, well, all I do is work. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but you know, if I asked you that question, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? 
and I stump you and you have to sit back and think for 10 minutes, well, you have the same issue I have. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that. I mean, if you have children, maybe you have younger nephews and stuff like that. Maybe you don't have kids yourself. You know, they're five years old, six year old. You, you ask them a question like that. You say, hey, what are your hobbies? You know, what do you like to do? What do you like to do for fun? You might, you might have to phrase it so they understand it. <laughs> Dude, they're giving you things. They don't even have to think. It's not, they only, they, they it's like you, right before you get the words out of your mouth, they're already giving you things like boom, 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 boom. It's like if you give, if you ask your child, uh, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? Give me a Christmas list. Make a list of things that you like, that you want. Dude, they're, they're sit there. Dude, they're done in 10 minutes and they filled up like two pages. <laughs> you know, if, if we did the same exercise, we write like one or two things and we're stumped the whole time. <laughs> you know, it, why is that? It's kind of funny how we, as an adult, we tend to, to go more that direction. But how you fix it is start doing more and more things that you love and you enjoy. Get out of your head. Um, if you're like me a little bit, you're kind of in your head. Get out of your head. Uh, that's what kind of makes abundance work a little bit quicker because we're so much in our head. We're so much into how to control, how do I get what I want rather than just let it come to us, you know? And one of the, one of the easiest ways we can let go and stop controlling the how is enjoy the journey. How do you enjoy the journey? Start doing your hobbies. Start doing things you like. It doesn't have to be work-related all the time. And most of the time, the more things we do that's not work-related, abundance comes to us. Other than that, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I mean, I know I did because I know I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but anyway, comment below. Let me know your pros and cons, what's working for you, what's not working for you. Do you think I'm crazy? Uh, this is a community. This isn't a end-all, be-all, what Chad thinks. Um, this is a community. We all help each other. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video.